Should the law make it easier for prosecutors to keep violent offenders behind bars until trial? That idea has garnered bipartisan support from lawmakers and backing from the governor. But as News 13's Gabe Chavez explains, backers are struggling right now to get the practice known as rebuttable presumption across the finish line. It's been the subject of fierce debate for years, how to decide when a defendant is too dangerous to let out on the streets while awaiting trial. I start with the very basic premise of this, Senator and Mr. Chairman. With a history of violent offenses, where there's been a convictions of violent offenses, for example, and they are again accused of violent offenses, how can we let that person out in the community and ensure the safety of the community? Right now, the burden is on prosecutors to prove someone accused of a crime poses a danger to the community and should stay in jail. Senate Bill 123 would flip that burden to the defense to prove the defendant should not be held until trial. This bill makes it clear that the suspect has to pose a serious threat to the public and the crime they're accused of has to be a serious offense. Today, lawmakers heard from those in favor of the bill, arguing it would make cities like Albuquerque safer. I think that this bill would help us truly focus on the most violent offenders. We're not talking about the nonviolent drug charges. We're not talking about any of those offenses, but the most violent offenses where people are continuing to reoffend because they are not held behind bars. Those against the idea say it raises constitutional concerns and questioned whether the shift would actually do anything to improve public safety. Some argued it could impact already struggling jails. We also believe that SB 123 will increase jail populations at a time when staffing shortages make correctional facilities increasingly dangerous, especially in the Bernalillo County area. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. In a split vote, the Senate Health Committee tabled that bill, so it is stalled for now. A similar proposal failed during last year's legislative session.